Hey folks, welcome to the simple guide on observability for your microservices using Kotlin Kubernetes. My name is Kevin Chen. I'm the developer advocate at Kotlin Inc. And I'll be walking you through how to get up and running uh, within five minutes. So everything you can, that I'm gonna to cover today here can be found on a blog post, which we will include in the link, uh, the link below in the description of the video. So if you, you, know, if you miss any instructions, you can easily access them there. Or you can also check out the GitHub repository where we also have documentation on. So let's get started. Uh, so today in this tutorial, I will explain how you can leverage Prometheus monitoring stack in conjunction with Kong to get black box metrics and observability for all your services. I chose Prometheus since I use it quite a bit. Uh, I really like it. Uh, it's fairly popular. But this guide can be applied to other solutions like StatsDB, Datadog, if that's what you choose to use. Uh, I will also be deploying all the components on Kubernetes. So first thing, make sure you have a cluster up and running. So I'm running mine uh, locally on Minikube. Uh, I'm running version 1.18.5. So uh, to jump right in, I'm gonna use Helm to deploy the necessary components. Uh, so first, I'm gonna deploy Prometheus in a new namespace called monitoring. I'm also going to throw the uh, Grafana components into that same namespace. So once I have Prometheus uh, deployed using Helm and its Helm charts, I can go ahead and do the same for Grafana. There we go, Grafana is up. You'll see that I add some additional values here and we take a quick glimpse at it. It's basically telling Grafana to include the Kong dashboards by default, just so you don't have to import it later, which makes it a lot easier. So the next thing we wanna do after we deploy Prometheus and Grafana, we can first check the, the pods within the monitoring namespace. So you'll see that almost all of them was up and running. Grafana is still initializing because you know, we deployed that later but I'm sure in no time if we put dash watch on it, uh, pod initializing, there we go. And this is running. Sweet, I don't think I have to look at it anymore. So we can jump on to the next step. Next we'll be deploying Kong. Uh, Kong also has Helm charts, so you can also use the Helm charts to deploy it. And we'll also be using the Kong ingress controller because if we're gonna be using the Kong gateway in a Kubernetes environment, I think it's best to use the ingress controller so you can maximize, you know, uh, you can utilize the CRDs in conjunction with all the other configurations in Kubernetes. So, oh, I forgot the version. I'm gonna use 1.7.0, which is the latest Helm chart version for Kong. Give it one second. There we go. And now if we look at the namespace Kong, we should be able to see uh, the, uh, the pods, get okay, pods and namespace Kong. There we go, containers creating. So you'll see that there's actually two um, containers within this pod. One is the ingress controller itself. And the second one is the actual Kong proxy that will actually do the routing and uh, uh, work with the permit that you'll attach the Prometheus plugin on. So we'll give this a few more seconds. You'll see it's up and running within 30 seconds, that's awesome. Kong is very lightweight and very quick, so it doesn't take a lot to deploy. All right, so next we're gonna enable the Prometheus plugin. Once Kong is up and running, we will create a CRD in Kubernetes to enable the Prometheus plugin in Kong. This will configure Kong to collect metrics for all the proxy requests uh, via Kong and expose them to Prometheus. So to do so, we're gonna just run here. Oh, a little extra. Lines and just delete those. There we go. And you'll see that we created uh, a plugin uh, Prometheus. All right, so now we have Prometheus up and running, Grafana up and running, Kong, and the plugin. Let's set up some port forward so we can easily access things. So the first thing is we're going to first port forward the Prometheus server. Well, this is not really necessary because once you have uh, Grafana up and running, uh, you can simply use Grafana to visualize everything, but I'm just gonna have a port forward on port 9090. Uh, next, I'm gonna get the 
name for the Grafana, which is important. So we can put for the Grafana dashboard. And if I put for that using, there we go. And now Grafana is put forward on port uh, 3000. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and port for the Kong gateway itself too. So this way we have the ability to access the Kong gateway. There we go, and port forward on port 8000. So now that we have everything port forwarded, to get access to Grafana, we'll have to get the password for the admin user. So next, we're going to execute this following command, get secret for the Grafana, uh, and we'll get the Grafana admin password. OK. So now we have everything set up. And if we were to visit the local localhost 3000, we'll be able to access the Grafana dashboard with the username of admin and the password of what we see on the screen here. However, we still need a few more steps before we'll see any metrics pop in. And we need services, and we need services to you know, and communicate with those services and generate traffic uh, for the Prometheus, uh, the black box monitoring of, and observability to really take an effect. So what I'm going to do next is deploy a few services uh, via this link right here. And you'll see that this just creates a billing and invoice and comment service that kind of we can uh, send some traffic to to generate uh, some metrics on. So if we were to check the kubectl get pods and all namespace, you'll see that in default, we still have the container creating. Give it a few more seconds, add a watch tag on it, and there we go, it's up and running. It's running in the default namespace. So once that is up and running, we can go ahead and create ingress rules so we can route traffic to those services. So to do that, we're going to just apply this right here. You'll see that we create an ingress uh, to the billing and common invoice services that we have. All right, so now we have the services up and running as well. Let's create a new terminal here, and I'm going to go ahead and generate some traffic. You see, we're just, I'm just going to curl, uh, do a loop, and uh, on the, these endpoints right here, and you'll see that uh, the com proxy is now routing it to the correct services. Awesome. So now that everything is up and running, what do we do, right? Uh, this is when we get to see the metrics. We see the fruit of our labor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sh share my Chrome now. Um, let's see here. Share screen. Share my Chrome right here, and we'll use admin. And what I'm going to do next is uh, I got to find my uh, that Grafana password that we used earlier. So I'm going to grab that. This is again. This will be the password to access the Grafana dashboard. There we go, logged in. And you'll see that we already have one dashboard imported by default, and that's because of the Helm chart we used. And the moment we click on it, we already see the default dashboards that uh, come, come uh, that is supported by Kong. Here you can see total requests per second. Uh, you can see all the services. You see we see a default billing comments and infault uh, invoice. So there's egress per service, ingress per service, and this is where you really get to see uh, the power of open source plugins such as Prometheus alongside the open source Kong gateway uh, in Kubernetes. From here, you can explore a lot of the other plugins as well and see how it works in conjunction with what you already have deployed. That's it. That's all I have for this video. If there's anything else you would like to see, feel free to email me at kevin.chen at kongHQ.com. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask as well. Thanks, folks.